Yo what's up guys welcome to coding bot in this video I'm going to show you how to run your PHP files or PHP programs by using VAMP server. In a previous video I showed you how to run your PHP files or PHP programs by using XAMPP server but many of viewers has requested me to uh, do a video by how to uh, run PHP files by using VAMP server because XAMPP ser uh, VAMP server is um, uh, VAMP server has more facili uh, facilities and more configurations than uh, exam server. First of all, you need to go to the vampserver.com website. I will put the link on the description. You can go to this and you, uh, or else you can just Google VAMP server download. You, you will uh, see this link to go to this website. And by scrolling down, you can see there is a VAMP server 64 bit download link and VAMP server 32 bit download link is there. I have already downloaded this uh, VAMP server 64 bit version. You can just click on this icon and you can download the VAMP server 64 bit.exe file. After installing that, you can double click on it and uh, you can install the VAMP server to your local PC by spending less than 5 minutes. It, it's an easy process. I am not going to show you that one because I have already installed this VAMP server. After installing, you can see there will be a icon like this VAMP server 64 or else you can find this one by just go to your starter menu. Double click this one and you will cannot see anything after uh, double clicking this one. It will be running in the background. After double clicking this one, just go to your browser and just type like this localhost and press enter. You will be directing to this dashboard VAMP server dashboard. After going to this one, you can see there is a, a PHP My Admin access. You can go to your PHP My Admin to use MySQL databases. But now I'm going to um, give a. Now I'm going to run a simple PHP program which I have put into this uh, example triple W directory. You can go to your C drive um, after double clicking this one, and uh, you can find VAMP 64-bit file. And inside that one, you can see there is a triple W folder. Inside this one, you can uh, put the project folder to this uh, directory or else, uh, yes, you have to put your project folder to this directory. I have already created a folder named coding bot and inside that there is index.php which is a simple PHP file to show you how to run a PHP program. Now you have to go to this browser again and just give slash and type your project folder name. I am giving coding bot and just press enter you can see the output on the browser hello coding bot because i have give this um php folder uh, simple echo statement i'm going to open it and show you with what is my program there is a simple echo statement echo hello coding bot we can see the uh, output on the our web browser you can give the folder name um like anything uh, coding bot or uh, after the localhost slash inside this one you can give your project folder name or your php file name now i'm going to uh, do a different thing i'm going to this one and i'm copying this one to outside of that coding bot file i'm just going to paste it index.php and we can run this index.php file directly as well now i'm going to show you that one i'm removing this one after uh, localhost slash index dot php just press enter you can see the same output on the uh, our browser you can see hello coding bot output on our browser as well this is the uh, simplest process how to run, run your uh, php files or php uh, projects um, inside uh, with uh, the vamp server i think you got everything make sure to subscribe and share this video to your batchmates or your classmates we will see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.